Hello everybody, this is Kian Data Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. Most of you may have air conditioning systems that can be controlled by sending infrared signals. In the other words, they have IR remote controls. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can control them in a smart manner. For example, using your smartphones or in automations. What we need is ESP32 development board integrated with Home Assistant. If you do not know how to integrate these two devices, watch this tutorial. Also, we need IR transmitter, IR receiver, and NTC thermistor. Let's start. Let's talk about the components and wiring of the project. In order to send IR signals, we need IR transmitter. IR transmitter has three pins. This is IR transmitter. It has three pins. Ground, which must be connected to the ground of ESP development board. The middle pin is VCC. We must connect it to 3.3 volt DC of the board. And this pin is input. I connected this pin to pin number 13 of ESP32 development board. Next, we need IR receiver. IR receiver also has three pins, ground and VCC. Ground must be connected to ground of ESP development board and VCC must be connected to pin 3.3 volt DC. This is output. I connected this pin to pin number 32 of ESP development board. Red wires are 3.3 volt DC. Black wires are connected to ground of ESP development board. Using IR transmitter, I connected this pin to pin number 13 and using IR receiver I connected this pin the blue one to pin number 32 there is a separate tutorial about using NTC thermistors to measure temperature using ESP development board you can watch its tutorial at the top right corner of a screen the only thing that must be added to the temperature sensor which I didn't mention at its tutorial is that a constant voltage supply to NTC sensor causes it to heat up and therefore creates unreliable temperature values so it's recommended to only supply the NTC sensor during the actual measurement to do this I replaced the 3.3 volt side of the voltage divider with a connection to a GPIO pin I used GPIO 33. This pin will be switched high only during the measurement, so preventing the sensor from heating up. Let's start programming our development board. After connecting to Home Assistant UI, on the left panel, I click on Supervisor. Among installed add-ons, I select ESP Home. In its page, I click on Open Web UI. I click on edit of the related development board YAML file. At the bottom of the file, I paste lines or let's say codes. Let's go through the lines. This section is related to connecting NTC temperature sensor. This part is added to the tutorial of using NTC thermistor to ESP Home. Pin number 33 is set to high every 30 seconds. You can change this time as you want. This section activates remote transmitter or let's say IR transmitter as you see I have used 
pin number 13 of the ESP development board. I set an ID for it. We use it later. Due to unidirectional nature of IR remote controllers, this component or let's say this device cannot determine the actual state of the device and will assume the state of the device is the latest state requested. However, if receiver is added, which is optional, the climate state will be tracked when it is operated with the original remote controller unit. This option depends on the platform. If they can listen to data the climate device sends over infrared to update their state, for example, what mode the device is in. By setting up a remote receiver and passing its ID to the climate platform, you can enable this mode. This is remote receiver platform. I use pin number 32 to activate it and I set an ID for it. This section is about activating climate platform. About the platform, climate IRLG, by navigating to this web page, there is a growing list of compatible units. If your unit is not listed below, you should submit a feature request. In our example, I use LG brand, which its platform is Climate IR LG. You can find the link of this website in description. In front of name, you can set a name for your device, whatever you like. Sensor, temperature one is the idea of NTC thermistor. IR transmitter here is the idea of remote transmitter. IR receiver is the idea of remote receiver. If your system only supports heating, you can Disactivate cooling. How? By setting supports cool to false. And if your device only supports cooling, you can disactivate heating by setting supports heat to false. File is edited. I click on install, select wirelessly, and wait till edited YAM file installs on the development board. Installation is completed, I click on stop. Now it's time to reconfigure our integration. I select configuration in Home Assistant UI, select integrations, click on ESP32, click on three dots, delete the integration. Okay. I add the integration again. This is the IP of my development board. Okay, ESP32, it is one device and this is our programmed device. I navigate to overview, select three dots on the top right corner of the screen, select edit dashboard. Click Add Card. Among the cards, I find Thermostat. Select it. From the drop-down list, I select my climate device. Click Save. This is the device. You can set it to Heat, to Cool, Heat, Heat and Cool, Dry, and also you can change the set points. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.